Hey guys, happy dude here and today I want to talk about uh, my computer uh, specifically the Gigabyte Aorus Ultra motherboard So this doesn't need to be a 10 minute video I'm just going to talk about the problems that I had with this motherboard and also my two years experience So it's a Gigabyte Aorus Ultra x570 uh, but it's the emd version i'm making this video because i had to replace the battery from the bios for the third time and it's only two years old so i never had that problem with uh, other motherboards so if you are experiencing weird problems with your motherboard, like you're in a boot loop, so it's constantly restarting, or the computer doesn't turn on, or the settings in the BIOS uh, keeps changing back to its original settings, that's because your battery is dead. So all you need to do is replace that. The next problem that I have with this motherboard is that I'm always losing the connection with the keyboard and the mouse uh, when I'm not using the computer for a few minutes. So when that happens, I need to constantly move the mouse and tap the keyboard until it works again. That's very annoying. I also have a lot of disconnect problems with the USBs. Here in the front as well as in the motherboard uh, itself that's why i also have a lot of disconnect problems with the keyboard and mouse and all other devices another problem with this motherboard is that the bluetooth connection just disappears and when that happens you need to cut the power with the switch Turn it back on, restart the computer, and then the Bluetooth works again until you restart the computer a few times, and then it doesn't work anymore, and you need to do it again. Also very annoying. I searched the internet, and a lot of people have these problems with Gigabyte motherboards, so I'm not the only one. And also, the BIOS is pretty confusing and complicated and yes I updated the BIOS a few times but it didn't resolve the issues there are also some good things about this motherboard like the audio is very good you can install a SSD M.2 you have ExpressNet 4 uh, there are a lot of connectors for fans and RGB and also for two water pumps like I have here and you have a very good uh, power delivery for the CPU so it's very good for overclocking uh, even for CO2 you can connect a extra power delivery here for if you want to go very extreme with your overclocks So, would I recommend this motherboard? Um, no, not really. This is the last Gigabyte motherboard that I will buy. So, if you guys have any recommendations for a very good, uh, problem-free and solid motherboard, please uh, tell me about it in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and maybe subscribe for more. And you all have a nice day. Bye!